Welcome back to Conjurer. In this episode we'll be featuring an anti-rat deck which is called Gorthog Smash. So this deck contains six cards only. God supports me, Power Surge, Adara, Rogard, Gorthog and Fire and Sword. The point in this deck is to use your power surge first turn to be able to cast a Gorthog and prevent any rats from taking control of the board because there's a big problem with some players playing rat decks and it has led to the formation of the rat hunters as we like to call ourselves So as you can see, Gorthog can get played first turn, and he's got the ability to, if they played a boss rat, to kill the boss rat straight away. This deck also works quite well against other anti-rat decks, however I'm not sure how well it will work against a conventional deck when it's really built around killing rats. So it's interesting that Norm is using Plague Elks. A lot of people don't really use Plague Delts anymore. So we'll just use this opportunity to kill off that Swift Grog. And that leaves us vulnerable to a fire and sword, but only one Gorthog will die to that, so it's fine. And there it is. Next turn we'll be vulnerable to another fire and sword, however we've got a new Gorthog to replace them. So, so the reason I'm not buying any more mana or using my god supports me is because this deck runs quite optimally on 7 mana Unfortunately it's going to keep popping up that screen every time I want to end my turn. That's just a nasty move. Um, this deck isn't really designed to go one on one with Drevrons. And if Norm wants to play another one then it'll pretty much be game over. Because this deck only contains fire and swords and doesn't contain any hammer of thors. Dravrons are just a nightmare for it. So we'll draw a card, we'll see what we get. It's now the Gorthog. So we will Actually take the Dravron and we'll use our Fire and Sword to take it down. And at the stage we'll buy another mana. Now if we play our Gorthog next turn, they'll just use Rogard to weaken it and then use Lilith to steal it.
However, we have two core thogs now, so we can play both of them and play another mana. We haven't managed to draw any of our rogue guards yet, and they would have been useful earlier. But again, this is a rat hunter deck as opposed to just a normal deck. So they'll play probably the Gorthog they just stole. And they'll play Swift Girl instead. So we finally get an Adara. Um, and our hand is just flooded with power surges. Really the only thing we can do now is hope for a fire and sword to kill off that swift guru and severely damage that Gorthog. I mean right now our well, health points are looking alright, they're sitting at 24, soon to be a few less. Well I managed to draw two Gorthogs so I'll play both of them. And that way they can only kill one, and we'll buy a mana. Oh, and they had a Hammer of Thor. So I'll probably use the Gorthog and survive. And there's our first Rogard. Let's see what we can draw. So this is one issue with running power surges and lots of them. They're there for giving us a boost, so we need them for the early game. However, come later game when you've got lots of mana you don't need them anymore. So this turn they can do 10 damage. And unless I draw a fire and sword, I'm not going to survive next turn. So I'll just see what we draw. So there's all our rogue guards all bunched together. That's cool, we'll just surrender. We're on three life, they're going to kill us next turn and we'll get back into another game. So I'm not sure how many people are running rat decks at the moment, there is definitely one problem child running rats, and there's a group of us running rat hunter decks, which are pretty much variations of exactly the same thing. Generally Gorthogs with Rogards, some people run Hammer of Thor and Fire and Sword. Some people run Ethereal Fairies with them. But this here would be a pretty bad start if I was up against a rat deck because they would have used a Power Surge and their boss rat straight away and I'd need to get a Gorthog out turn 1. However, because we did get the mana for it, we have to spend the first turn buying mana. So it's interesting that they just drew all those cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play one and buy a mana. I could have played two with using Power Surge and that's the other thing Power Surge is useful for in this stage of the game is using your first four mana to play your first Gorthog and then using your Power Surge to give you the extra two to play another Gorthog. So they've just drawn another two cards. That's very very interesting. Maybe they're planning on just dropping a whole lot of small creatures all at once. Or they're looking for one card in particular. And we'll use our power surge to buy another mana. Hopefully we'll get some Rogard shortly. 
because I'd love to put Brogads behind these Gorthogs. And the reason I say this deck runs optimally at 7 mana is because you can play a Gorthog and draw a card, or you can play a Rogard and a Gorthog, or generally because you've got one extra mana, so you've got 8 out of 7 at the start of each turn, you can play a Fire and Sword and a Rogard. I'm not really sure what the deal with the Plagued Elk is. Perhaps weakening our Gorthog for a Fire and Sword? No, we got a Sword Gator out. Cool. That's an easy fix because this Gorthog's already weakened. We've got Fire and Sword in our hand. So we'll drop Fire and Sword and we'll attack their Sword Gator with our weakened Gorthog. Then we'll use our Power Surge to play another Gorthog. And again, not buying the extra mana. So a lot of the time people don't use their weakened creatures to attack with. If it's a large creature that your guy is going to die anyway, there's no point using a full strength person to take out their high strength creature, because the only thing that happens when they get injured is their life points go down. Their attack and everything remains the same. So there's no point in using something that will survive, say, a fire and sword to kill something else when you've got one that won't survive a fire and sword to kill it. And it looks like our friend is going to time out. So there's a victory for us. Hopefully we'll come across a rat deck and we can see just what it does against a rat deck. But hopefully we won't get a bad draw either, so... Alrighty, so we'll just use our standard opening, Gorthog. It's nice, we've got a Rogard, so we can play our Rogard first, uh, next turn, and we'll just use our Power Surge to buy another mana. And then Rogard is especially helpful against Rat decks, because he can do his 2 damage to their pack rats, which they'll generally play in front of their boss rats. And then you can either use your Gorthog to kill the boss rat, or your fire and sword. So there's just a nice little fairy sitting in front of me, I'll just kill that. It's a reasonable move, placing that fairy there, because it prevents me doing 3 damage to them. However, it also means that they don't have a fairy anymore. This deck is semi-aggressive because it is fairly low mana cost. Now that was quite a nice move from them, placing that Lightbringer, so it meant that I couldn't just Rogard. So I will use my Gorthog and my Rogard to kill the Lightbringer. There's another Gorthog. Buy another mana. I could have played my Adara to double tap with my Rogard. However, I might just hold on to her for now. And there's a Fire and Sword. That's fine because it means they've used all their mana for the turn. They can't cast any creatures. And I can attack them for 5 damage. I've got another, Ro uh, another Gorthog to replace the one that got killed. And then if they play another Fire and Sword. It kills off this Gorthog, but this one's still on full health, so I can do another 5 damage. In this case, they're going to play a Lightbringer up front, so we'll use our damaged Gorthog here to kill the Lightbringer, rather than using a Rogard to kill the Lightbringer. And then we can use our Rogard to kill the Rogard. And then attack through for 3. So we'll draw a card. We'll draw another one. Here's another Gorthog, cool. We'll just gain the mana with our God Supports Me. So what we could have done there is used our Rogard to kill the Lightbringer, and then our damaged Gorthog to kill the Rogard. However, if we'd done that, we would have lost our Gorthog. Using our Gorthog to kill the Lightbringer meant we've still got our Gorthog. It also reduced their Rogard's health, to which we could use our Rogard to kill it. So here we go, we do another 8 damage. And we can play another Gorthog. 
and draw a card. So we've basically won the game at this point. Okay, so yep, here we've got the game. This is where our Adaras come in to play, because we'll move our Gorthog out of the way. That allows us our Rogar to shoot over the top. And then we'll play our Adara, wake everything back up, and then shoot over the top again. Try and squeeze one more game in, and we're up against a rat deck. Excellent. So this is our Troublemaker Rat player, and we've got a brilliant start because we've got our Power Surge, we've got our Gorthog, and we're second to play, so we'll get three mana, so we'll be able to get another mana, which will allow us to play our Gorthog next turn as well. Or we'll actually play our Rogard next turn. So basically the only thing in their deck is Power Surge and Boss Rat and I think they may have a couple of God Supports Me, but I'm not sure. Yep, they've got a few God Supports Me as well. So, we'll Power Surge, Gorthog. So they can either choose to play a Pack Rat in front, and then they'll also probably have a Power Surge in their hand to play another Boss Rat. If that happens, we'll use our Gorthog to kill their boss rat. And we could either use our Adara to reawaken our Gorthog to attack their pack rat. Or we can actually play another Gorthog or our... Probably wouldn't play our Rogard because they'll attack with their pack rat against our Gorthog killing it. And then use their boss rat to kill our Rogard. If we manage to get a... So here we go, this is exactly what I thought they'd do. So we've managed to get a God Supports Me, so we'll actually play another Gorthog and we'll kill that boss rat. And get our God Supports Me down for that extra mana. This way their pack rat will essentially be able to kill our Gorthog here, however that's not really going to help them at all. So again they may play another pack rat, use a power surge and then play another boss rat. Okay, in this case we've used a double pack rat, so we'll use our fire and sword and kill off their boss rat. So we're using our removal to kill off their rats, basically. So we've finally managed to draw a power surge, so we'll use our power surge to actually play our Rogard. And we'll kill the pack rat. Because it's all about stopping them from establishing their boss rats and stopping them from getting lots of pack rats out. Next turn we'll be able to use our Rogard to kill their pack rat, we'll be able to use our Gorthog to kill their boss rat, and then we'll be able to use our Adara. To reawaken everything again and then attack anything else that's on the field. So given the amount of mana they're stacking they're probably going to play a couple of pack rats or another boss rat and another couple of pack rats. So here we go we'll use our Rogard to kill the pack rat, Gorthog to kill boss rat, Adara to wake everything up. Gorthog kill boss rat. Move our row guard behind our Adara so it can open up on things next turn. And we'll buy a mana. So we've got seven mana for next turn. As you can see they're down to one card in their hand. They've probably got two boss rats left and maybe the rest is pack rats. Yep, so we've got Boss Rat here, Pack Rat here. Again, we'll play our Gorthog, we'll use our Rogar to kill the Pack Rat, and then we'll use, and we'll attack with our Adara. Then we'll play our Adara again, wake our Rogar up, kill the Pack Rat, 
I take them for one by a mana. So they're down to their last boss rat and pack rat. They can play both of them. However, they're both going to die anyway. So we'll play that. We'll do that. Kill him. We'll draw a card, see what we get. Maybe Nadara. Not quite, okay. And we can attack for one. Generally, this rat player will surrender when they're beaten, which they should see that they actually are, because there's nothing they can do. And that is exactly what this deck is designed to do, is to defeat rats, because rats are annoying, and they take absolutely no skill to play, because as you can see, when you spam one card over and over again, it doesn't actually do anything. So, he's gone and done that. Add insult to injury, we'll use our fire and sword, and we'll snipe his boss rat so we take no damage on our creatures and attack for another 3 damage. Use our power surge to play another Gorthog and they'll know that they are truly beaten because that there is a pack rat. And we will see how long it takes them to either surrender or they may choose to time out which would be annoying but if you've got no skill and you play rats and you come up against the rat hunter then you want to give up as soon as possible. So let's review our beautiful Rat Hunter deck, or as I call it, Gorthog Smash. So we've got God Supports Me, Power Surge, Adara, Rogard, Gorthog, and Fire and Sword. Again, we're using our Power Surges to get our Gorthogs out nice and early. We're using those God Supports Me if we can in the opening hand after we've played our Power Surge just to give us that 4 mana for the next turn. Using our Adara to reawaken either our Gorthogs or our Rogards to do more damage to their rat and our Fire and Swords to clear their rats from the field. It also works against non-rat decks and against other Rat Hunter decks as well. So this has been our Gorthog Smash Let's Kill Rats deck. I've been Lost One, and you've been watching Conjurer. Let's see you next time.